back guys so today on this video we're talking about the krk systems rocket 4 these are the eights you might have a different variation but i think it's probably the same setup but more specifically we're going to show how to connect your krk rocket studio monitors to your laptop so let's go ahead and talk about this First off, I want to let you know this is an updated version. I did another video that was really popular about setting up the KRK Rocket 4s to your laptop. Although the information that was on there is accurate, but this one's going to be a little bit more in-depth. I'm a novice when it comes to studio monitors. We were lucky enough to get these from KRK for us to test out. So this video is not a professional review. It's not coming from the voice of somebody who works in the music industry. This is coming from the voice of somebody who doesn't really know too much about studio monitors, but I'm still trying to figure my way around them. So basically what I want to use these for is to listen to music. So I like to listen to rock music. I also like to listen to classical music. So I know that studio monitors are more for industry professionals. So maybe you're mixing music or maybe you're a music producer, maybe you're a musician, something like that. But I found that KRK is actually really good for listening to music and that's pretty cool. But I couldn't actually figure out how to connect connect them to my laptop or my computer and that was kind of frustrating. Let me flip these things around. So I have two of them but I just am showing this video on one of them. So here on the back of the studio monitor it has this funny looking plug. Again this is the only thing in my house that has this particular type of plug. After doing a little research you might know that that is an XLR plug. So in order to set your laptop up with your KRK you usually need to have that particular type of plug. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I got this little thing right here. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link to all the things that I'm going to be discussing. So I ended up getting this cable and this cable right here, it has two male XLR cables because I have two Rocket G4 studio monitors and basically one plugs into one monitor, the other one plugs into the other one. And if you follow all the way down to the end, it gets this 3.5 millimeter male plug. So this male plug is supposed to go into my MacBook Pro, but as you know, it's just a headphone jack there. So it's definitely not going to fit in there. It's just too big. So here's my setup. I got two XLRs, males, and they're right there. And then basically what I'll do is I'll plug one into each studio monitor. And those have a Y plug, so they just go right into one 3.5 millimeter here. And then in order to put this into my laptop or into my computer, I got this adapter. So this is a female 3.5 right here on this side. And then on this side is your typical headphone jack. So it just goes right over that. As you can see, and boom, there you go. So then you have the XLR goes right into this little funny looking outlet right here on your KRK Rocket 4s. Let me flip this around a little bit. There, okay. And this will go right into the laptop there on the side. And then I've done that and I've been using these things for about three months and it works just fine. But me being a dummy, I didn't know that this is actually really a neat piece of engineering right here. So as you can see, it looks like it's just XLR only. But one of the subscribers to this channel messaged me and said, hey, you know what? That's actually XLR, but you can put your 3.5 millimeter in there as well. So as you can see, boom right there like that and then if you wanted to instead of being a dummy like me you don't necessarily need an xlr you can get a 3.5 millimeter on this side if you buy a cable and then follow it all the way around and then on this side which then you would look for something that has either a 3.5 millimeter here on this side or even a headphone jack sometimes they come with headphone jacks so you have a couple of different options. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link to a couple of different items or choices that you can use. So the first of which is you can get through what I do, XLR to a 3.5 and then 3.5 to a headphone jack, or you can get a 3.5 millimeter right here and get the headphone jack on the other side. And that way it avoids any kind of adapters, or you can do a 3.5 millimeter here on this side, follow it around a 3.5 millimeter on this side and then a headphone jack on this side. So the reason you might want to get the 3.5 millimeter on both sides, including the one that goes into your computer or laptop, is because if you're going to be plugging into like an instrument or maybe some other kind of interface, 
that particular piece of equipment might need a 3.5 millimeter. So just keep that in mind because if you get the headphone jack on the other side, it's going to restrict the type of equipment or it's going to restrict the type of instruments that you can use on this end after plugging in to your KRK Rocket G4s. So last thing I want to know is the older models of KRK Rockets, they were just as smart, but the thing is they morphed it into one particular outlet. Before it used to be two separate outlets. So you used to have an XLR and then a 3.5 here on the side. Now it's just combined into one. So it makes it look nice and clean and really organized, especially when you got a lot of different wires running around, depending on what type of equipment you have. So there you have it. That is how you can set up your KRK Systems Rocket G4s to your laptop computer or to your computer. If you happen to know a different way, be sure to check the video description and leave us a comment. Let the rest of us know. And hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.